Hey, what's up guys? My name is Jesse Stockton. Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is my first video. Uh, this is the first video that I've ever made this way, so uh, check it out. Bear with me. Um, definitely very nervous to do things like this, but yeah, you'll see for yourself. Uh, this video is about meditation, so I hope you get something from it. And uh, yeah. Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Jesse Stockton here with uh, little baby Hickory, who can't be put down right now because he's scared, and that's okay. Can you say hey? Hey! So I wanted to talk to you guys today. There's Forrest right there. I wanted to talk to you guys today about meditation uh, because it is it has had such a profound impact on my life and the way that I do things, uh, it's one of the biggest influencers that I have, um, and how I came to it and, uh, kind of what led me down this path. Um, uh, before, so a little backstory, before I started meditating long, what seems like long ago now, um, I had gone through a very painful divorce, a very dark period of my life. Uh, I was playing music full time. Um, I was drinking and doing drugs like it was my job. Uh, as I like to say, I, I'm, I made Hunter Thompson look like a child. Uh, with what I was doing. Uh, I would wake up every day and um, kind of begin my journey of blocking um, and, and trying to end as much suffering as I possibly could via the, uh, the route of numbing myself. Um, until one day I got really bored of that. Uh, it wasn't working very much anymore. I was waking up just repetitively sick, uh, just so sick, and having to immediately try and find ways to fix myself in order to get ready for that night to do it all over again. Um, and my first way of doing that uh, was working out. So I would go to the gym every day. Um, and that did a lot of positive things. Uh, got me into a routine because I, I actually heard from uh, Dave Letterman who would go running every day. That's how he would get rid of his hangovers. So my uh, cure for this was going to the gym. Uh, so, I would still maintain the same sort of lifestyle, uh, getting drunk pretty much every night, uh, living off pizza, uh, basically my diet consisted of cheese and bread of some kind and, uh, meat. Um, I'd go to the gym, and, uh, I started wanting more. Every day I would see myself in the mirror at the gym and I wasn't where I wanted to be. And I was like, man, I've been doing this for months. Um, is getting over a hangover the only thing I want out of this? Uh, so then I started researching diet. I found the keto diet. Um, I found a very healthy way, fortunately for me, to do it, uh, which is the kind of the method I still live by, um, and that worked great. Uh, gave me tons of energy. Um, still drinking and doing other various things. Um, And uh, I, I, 
was changing very slowly. Um, and I also had this mentality that if I changed what was on the outside, what was on the inside would also change. Um, and that just wasn't the case. And so this went on for years, going to the gym, uh, eating really healthy, becoming like super obsessed with this idea of like the perfect example of health and trying to be that. Um, I did, you know, a lot of people noticed what I was going through. I lost like 35, 40 pounds. Um, but anyway, so leading to my um, story behind meditation, uh, via playing the music, I was never ever making a a viable income, uh, I would sometimes make um, $25 a night. And that's just, that's not possible uh, to pay your rent in January. And I don't care if you make $25 a night every night in January, which uh, for the most part, uh, I, I checked my calendar one time, I had four shows in January and that was my only job. So I was also trying to figure out a way to make money online while I was playing music. Um, I was traveling the country, which meant that I had to all sorts of other expenses while doing this. Um, but what I really wanted to fix was this feeling of unhappiness. I was constantly unhappy. Uh, I was realizing that every single time someone asked me, how are you doing? I said, fine, yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, what's going on? Nothing much. You know, same old stuff. Uh, play music every night. Uh, wake up exhausted in a daze all day. Go back to do it again that night, even if I wasn't drinking. Even if I was eating, you know, an amazing diet. Uh, I was just not being fulfilled. I was spending my life trying to make others happy in a, uh, a place that was kind of, for me, uh, doling out um, ways to block your energy instead of facing it and accepting it uh, so that you could let it go. Um, and I was continuously struggling with this unhappiness, this feeling of unhappiness. Um, and it was, it was always making me feel very disconnected from everyone. Um, because a lot of the time I would be in a place where people were having fun and I was not. Mm. Uh, and it was as if they had these great a lot of the time, not all the time, um, they had these things that they would go do during the day that would fulfill them, and then they would come and do what I was doing at night, which to me was very uh, draining emotionally, psychologically, physically, a uh, very huge toll that it took on me physically. I was constantly in a lot of pain, my left shoulder just constantly aching. Uh, my left arm, like right here, my elbow, just constantly hurting. Um, and, and on top of that, the feeling of unhappiness, disconnectedness, uh, lost, confusion, anger, frustration, um, constantly dealing with pain. And uh, I was looking for just an epiphany of, of, uh, of how to deal with this. Um, the gym, it did work, uh, but it only worked for a little bit. Uh, food, it did work, uh, but once again, it only worked for a little bit. Um, and I knew that I was missing kind of one final piece in this puzzle, but I couldn't really put my finger on it uh, and I was getting really really frustrated and when that happens I kind of dive into 
um, my mentors, uh, people like Tony Robbins, Tim Ferriss, uh, Dave Asprey, people like Russell Brunson, uh, uh, yeah, just uh, these people, Dean Graziosi, um, just really upbeat guy. Uh, and I was listening to a Tony Robbins podcast, and it was Ray Dalio, uh, and it's a two-part podcast, and uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with him, who he is, he's one of the most successful hedge fund managers uh, in the history of hedge funding. Um, and they talked about the mindset of success and uh, what that kind of meant. And um, at the end of the episode, he said, I'm going to reveal my biggest secret. And the secret was meditation. Uh, and I was like, what? Like, you sitting and breathing for five minutes is what has been the catalyst for you to make hundreds of millions or billions of dollars. Uh, and I was just like, okay. Uh, <laughs> let's try it out. Uh, so that very moment, I set my, I grabbed my phone. Uh, Got my phone and I'm, <laughs> that's just the case, obviously because I'm filming. Um, yeah, you're about to make me sneeze. <laughs> um, grab my phone, set my timer, bless you. Bless you. Set my timer for uh, 10 minutes. And for those 10 minutes, uh, I, so this is also from another Facebook post that I saw where a Buddhist monk said, this is how you meditate. Uh, you count your in-breath. One, two, three, four. You count your out-breath. One, two, three, four, five, like, and so on and so forth. Uh, and you just do this over and over. I set my watch for 10 minutes and I sat there counting. Um, and for me, something very profound happened. Uh, I could hear my heartbeat. Uh, and it wasn't just that. I could feel my heart beating, like in my face, in my ears. I could feel it right here. I could feel it in my fingertips and down my arm. And, um suddenly I realized that I, I had this gift. Um, I had this heart and it was beating for me, regardless of if I was angry, sad, frustrated, confused, happy, elated, uh, like whatever emotion, whatever thing was happening for me, this thing kept on going and didn't stop. Uh, and that, in that moment, uh, I came to a huge realization, um, I have a heart. And for this one simple thing, uh, I should be very grateful. Um, and that moment of gratitude helped me to look at the things that I'd been through and uh, look at the dark moments so, so I perceived them in a, a very different way. <coughs> Um, 
thank you. <laughs> uh, and I saw them as a gift. Um, instead of this, uh, what, what I thought was this horrible thing that happened to me. Uh, and I realized that there are way worse things that happen. Uh, and that we are all given this, this beating heart if we're here. And when that stops beating, so do all these things that we perceive as pain and difficulty and suffering and unpleasantness. Uh, and so, yeah, that's my, uh, my intro into meditation. And from there, I just, I would do that same sort of exercise uh, every day. Um, and then I became very deeply interested in breathing technique. Uh, and, um, and then I took a, uh, uh, a coaching course online uh, via my one of my other mentors, Dave Asprey. He uh, started. Uh, he's the writer of the Bulletproof Diet, and uh, he started with uh, another guy, uh, Dr. Mark Atkinson, um, the Bulletproof Coaching Program, was, uh, run by two of the most amazing human beings on this planet, uh, Ranit and Ron, uh, and Rod, I'm sorry, Rod, uh, I'm losing myself. Um, and Rod has a section in the training, an eight week section uh, on meditation and I took this course, and it, uh, that very much changed my life because it really taught me the fundamentals of meditation instead of me just kind of inventing what it was, but, um, yeah, uh, Long story short, meditation is the thing that got me to look inwardly and allowed me to shift my focus towards my heart, opening up my happiness and change the things on the outside because I began to focus on the things that are inside. And I had a friend one day tell me, uh, dreaming is looking outwardly, awakening is looking inwardly. And it was one of the most profound statements that I'd ever heard, uh, especially in the lumber aisle of Home Depot. Um, and it is one of the truest things that I've ever heard. So that, uh, that is what began my awakening journey. And to this day, uh, I have a one hour meditation every morning. As soon as I wake up, it's the first thing I do, the alarm goes off. Uh, I actually have a soundtrack that I listen to. It induces a brainwave. Um, I do my breathing. I focus on my breathing. I focus on my heart center. I find a happy thought. That's my style of meditation. Uh, but I just wanted to share with you guys uh, kind of my journey of what led me here. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give me a like. Uh, you can click the subscribe button. Uh, I'm certainly not saying any of these things for some sort of egotistical reason. Uh, it just helps me help others and I hope that this has helped you understand how profound just taking 10 minutes a day 
uh, the drastic impacts that it can have on your health, on your relationships, um, and your happiness, uh, because you are in control of it. So until next time, be well.